Today we'll be observing the appearance and odor of salt as well as preparing of the salt through the process of saponification. Make sure to wear your safety glasses, gloves, apron, and if you have long hair, and to tie it back. To start with part A, your TA will prepare six lipid samples in the lab. You must observe the lipids and fatty acids. Record the appearance and odor of each lipid on your data sheet. To start the saponification of fat for part B, Prepare a hot water bath by filling up a 250 milliliter beaker with water and adding two to three boiling chips. Then put it on a hot plate to heat up until it boils. Then put it on low heat to simmer. Do keep an eye on it so the water does not splash too much. Now weigh 1.5 grams of Crisco and place it in a large test tube, as well as a 10 milliliter of a 10% potassium hydroxide solution. Place the test tube in a hot water bath for 30 minutes. During this time, continue to watch the test tube. If you observe that the volume is decreasing, maintain the volume by using a pasture pipette to add in more ethanol if you observe that the volume is decreasing. When the fundification process is complete, the solution should be clear without any separation of layers or cloudiness. Pour contents into a 150 milliliter beaker and place it on a hot plate for the alcohol to evaporate and the remains to become thick and sticky. Do not overheat or it will char. Add 30 milliliters of DI water to the mixture and continue to heat and stir until the remains are dissolved. Remove the beaker from the hot plate and separate it into two 50 milliliter beakers. One will be used for part C and the other for part D. You have prepared a solution of potassium soap. To prepare the sodium soap for part C, add 50 milliliters of a saturated sodium chloride solution to one of the 50 milliliter beakers earlier. Stir the solution until a solid appears and flows at the surface of the solution. This solid is the sodium soap. Assemble a vacuum filtration setup and place the filter in. Pour the solution from the beaker into the center of the filter paper and make sure to transfer all the solids into the funnel. Wash the soap with 10 milliliters of cold water twice and continue the vacuum for another 10 minutes to dry. Transfer the filter paper and soap to a paper towel and allow them to sit for another 10 minutes. Dispose of the filtrate in the halogenated waste. Record the appearance of your sodium salt. Do not discard the sodium salt. You will use it for in part D and part E. Add 30 milliliters of DI water to the second 50 milliliter beaker of potassium soap solution from part B and transfer 5 milliliters of the solution into a 30 milliliter beaker. Add hydrochloric acid solution to the 30 milliliter beaker drop by drop until the solution becomes acidic. Use a small piece of litmus paper to test the acidity of the solution after each addition of the hydrochloric acid solution. Mark three small test tubes as fatty acid, triglyceride, and sodium salt. Remove a small amount of the solid you made in step three with a stirring rod and put it in the fatty acid tube. Place a small amount of the Crisco you use in part B in the triglyceride tube and the sodium soap you prepared in part C for the sodium soap tube. In the hood, add five milliliters of acetone to each test tube and record the solubility of each solid. Lastly, for part E, we will determine the properties of soaps and detergents using a pH and hard water test. Using two 50 milliliter beakers, prepare two solutions. One with one gram of sodium sulfate prepared in part C, dissolved in 40 milliliters of DI water, and one with one milliliter of commercial detergent in 40 milliliters of DI water. For the pH test, collect two dry and clean small test tubes and pour about five milliliters of each solution into a test tube. Dip a stirring rod into each solution and touch the stirring rod into a small piece of pH paper, not litmus paper, and record the pH of the solution. Make sure to rinse and dry the stirring rod between each tube. For the hard water test, collect six dry and clean small test tubes. Pour about five milliliters of sodium salt solution to three separate test tubes. 
Add 20 drops of 1% calcium chloride solution to the first tube, 20 drops of magnesium chloride to the second tube, and 20 drops of iron chloride to the third tube. Mix the solutions in each test tube well, and record your observations in your data sheet. Pour about 5 milliliters of detergent solution into three separate test tubes and do the same procedure. Record the observation. Combine all waste with part E and dispose in the heavy metals waste container.